Right, I'm going to have to go into some sort of zen-like state. Right. Today is very important for me. What I'd really like to do is get my product off my website and into the high street. Best of luck. Best of luck. <laughs> it's cost me about £25,000 to date. But sometimes in life, you just have to put your head above the parapet and see what happens. As long as I'm not dragon fodder, that's the main thing. Hello, dragons. My name is Matt Cottam. I'm an ecologist, and I'm here to offer you a 10% share of my company, Ludini, in exchange for an investment of £30,000. In the UK, surveys show two out of three men and one out of three women don't wash their hands after they've used a public toilet. And that's a problem for the rest of us because we all have to touch the same door handles in order to make our escape. Now, we all know a little bit of dirt doesn't hurt, but if we could see the germs on a door handle, this is what it might look like. If I could have the lights down a little. Flu, MRSA, norovirus, not to mention other people's poo. That's why I invented Ludini. As you can see, it's the same size as a credit card. So it fits neatly in your wallet. It has a hook on the side. That's for depressing handles and flushes and opening doors. It's that quick and simple to use. If we take a quick look at my hand now, we can see it's still completely clean. That's because Ludini acts as a physical barrier. It comes between you and the dirty surface. It's ideal if you're maybe uh, take, taking some friends out for some food and drink or if you're going on holiday somewhere. Maybe a cruise is a great place to pick up norovirus. And if you don't use a Ludini, this is what your hand looks like after you've touched the door handle. Look at my thumb. You see, I wouldn't want to pick up a slice of pizza with that thumb unless I really wanted an additional topping. Ludini, make a clean escape from dirty toilets. Thank you. The shock value of Matt Cottom's unique pitch has certainly got the dragon's attention. I could just give these guys a quick round of applause. I know it's probably a low point in their <laughs> acting career, but I really appreciate that. To expand his germ control business, he needs £30,000 of dragon capital. On offer in return is a 10% stake. Matt, I'm a little bit worried about taking anything from you now. You've just demonstrated that you've got poo on your hands. Oh, didn't I show you that my hands were clean after I... <laughs> no, no, you know your thumb. Your thumb was green. But don't touch that with your thumb. Oh. Hand them out, anyway. I don't okay. mind them having it. I just don't want it's it okay. myself. I've got a robust composition. <laughs> Matt's antics so far have certainly caused a commotion. But Tuka Suleiman wants to get a handle on the product's target market. First of all, Matt, um, you're about 30 years too late with this. Howard Hughes was a very, very famous man who wouldn't even come out of his hotel room without a new tissue. He would have been your ideal client for this. Yes. Were you inspired by him? No, actually. Um, a lot of people say, is this a product for people with OCD? This is for people who want to maintain a reasonable level of hygiene, that's all. For me personally, uh, I don't tend to worry about this kind of thing, except maybe if I'm in a cinema and I'm, I use the toilet and I know that I'm going to be eating some popcorn and you will see men come out of the stalls in the cinema and they'll go straight out without washing their hands. Uh, and for me, that's when it kicks in. I think I really would rather not touch that handle if possible. Yeah. So, um, how much money have you put into this so far? It's cost me about uh, £25,000 so far. The main um, cost of that has been with patents right. and in the making of a mould. How many have you sold? I've sold 153. You've sold 153, yes. and you've come out with a valuation of 300,000 pounds for your business. Yes. And that must have been for a crystal ball or a figure plucked from the sky. A damning assessment of the entrepreneur as his product and valuation receive short shrift from Tuka Suleiman. Can Deborah Meaden flush out some positivity? You are trying to solve a problem that is massive. 
too. This is a huge problem in hospitals, in any kind of environment where germ transference can be life-threatening. So great, you've identified this massive problem. Unfortunately, I've got a better invention than yours. Oh, right. It's called a glove. Yes. And it isn't even a white glove. It's a little, tiny, thin, flimsy plastic glove that folds up smaller than this. You can't beat a glove. That you'd be pretty scary in a loo. I'm you not would. I'm not saying that I'd be in a loo with you, <laughs> but if, a, if somebody else saw you going by there and starting to put these gloves on, looking behind, you kind of think, oh, my God, it's like the twilight. Yeah, my point is, I have never been so clear. I wasn't at all confused by it. It's cheaper. It's smaller. Don't. You can't beat a glove. And it is 100%, doesn't miss any part of my hand, and when I take it off, I throw it in the bin there, and then I get the next one, and it doesn't transfer any germs onto my body. Well, this is reusable. Um, Matt, if that's, uh, Matt, I know why you're convinced. That's why you've made it, that's why you've spent £25,000 on a patent. You are not going to convince me otherwise. So, I am out. Rejection from Deborah Meaden. Under once optimistic, Matt is beginning to look a little shell-shocked. And now, all this talk of germs has got Nick Jenkins thinking. You have raised my awareness um, of, the, uh, of, of the issue. Um, thanks very much for that. Hadn't thought about it, hadn't worried about it. Now I'm very worried. But um, <laughs> if I was... If I was really concerned about it, and there are places where I might go in and think, this is disgusting, I'm not going to put my hands anywhere here, Ooh. I would grab a couple of sheets of loo roll, open the door, chuck it away, problem solved. Could, could I just say yes, one thing about yeah, that? Yeah. Um, so you could, if you, at the risk of looking a bit strange, after you've washed your hands, go back into the cubicle and get some toilet paper and then open the door, but then you don't have anywhere to put the toilet paper. Did unless... you just say, I just say, did you just say at the risk of looking a bit strange? I just want to... A bit strange. <laughs> str it's all relative. Uh, just <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but actually, I'm also very concerned about the thickness of this. Um, as, as, a, as a guy, you have a wallet which is only that thick. I know that this would end up sort of getting left out, much like my National Trust membership card, which I always don't seem to have whenever I go and visit a property. So, I'm out. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Matt. Um, yes. You're a very nice guy. Thank you. Know, you. You've answered my question. Is it a business that I want to invest in? I don't think so, Matt. OK. So, I'm out. Matt, can I ask, is this your first foray into thinking of a business idea or, or a product to No, sell? I, I, I've, um, I've, I've, I've done a few pseudo-businesses. What I like to do is try and think of products which have an environmental element to them. Matt, I think and, that what will happen is you're going to leave. You've spent 25000 already. I'd hate to think that you'd spend a penny more. <laughs> um, obviously, it's made of plastic, so you haven't thought about conservation that carefully. Well, it's recyclable. OK, well, that's great, because that's, that's where it's going to end up. Thanks for bringing us today, but I'm not going to invest and I'm going to say I'm out. Right. A financial reality check from Peter Jones as he makes it four dragons to wash their hands of the deal. Is Sarah Willingham about to make it a clean sweep? I love passion and I actually love bonkers and this, this is quite bonkers. <laughs> okay. I completely get your philosophy behind it, but I just can't see me standing, queuing to get out of a toilet because people are putting their hand in their handbag, opening their wallets to try and get out their Ludini. I, I just... I think it's a bit weird for that reason, and many more that I just don't... It's not even worth going into, but <laughs> I'm afraid I'm out. OK. Thanks very much. And that's it. Can you press the button, please? With, with your... No, not with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've left it, you see. <laughs> Sarah Willingham's final refusal means Matt's dream of investment in his handy hygiene device disappears down the drain. I thought the people, the actors, though, I think they took it a bit too far. But they didn't need to take the thing out. They could have left it in. <laughs> <laughs>